All right, digit sum, digital root, and the Vedic nine-point circle. So let's go over digit sum to start off with. Okay, let's find the digit sum of this first number here, 24. Okay, to find the digit sum of a number, you're going to add up all the digits until there's only one number remaining. Okay, so 24, the digit sum of 24, we're just going to add 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 give us 6. Okay, this number here, 6, this is the digit sum for the number 24. Okay, the digit sum for 24 is 6. Okay, let's look at another number here, uh, 256. Okay, let's find the digit sum of 256. We're simply going to add 2 plus 5 plus 6. 2 and 5 is 7. 7 and 6 give us 13. Okay, now we're going to keep going until we have one digit remaining. So now we're going to do 1 plus 3. 1 plus 3 equals 4. Okay, this number 4, this is the digit sum of 256. Okay, when we add everything up, we add it up, we get this number here, 13. Then we're going to take the number 13 and we're going to do the digit sum of that until we get one digit remaining. Okay, that's our digit sum. Okay, let's find the digit sum of here, this 1,912. So we're going to add 1 plus 9 plus 1 plus 2. Okay, that's 10 plus 1 is 11. 11 and 2 give us 13. Okay, so once again... We're going to add 1 plus 3, that gives us 4. So here, the digital root of this number is 4. Okay, simply going to add up. We're just adding these up. Add these up, we get 13. We take 13, we add those up, we get the number 4. Okay, this is the digit sum, or the digital root of this number here. Okay, a few more examples here. So we have this number here. Let's add it up. 3 plus 8 plus 3 plus 4. Okay, that's 7 and 3 is 13. Or excuse me, 7 and 3 is 10. 10 and 8 is 18. So if we add these up, we get 18. So then 1 plus 8, that equals 9. So we're going to say the number 9 is the digital root here for this number. Okay, 9. The digit sum or the digital root. All right, and one more. Let's find the digit sum for this last number here that we have. Okay, so we have 1 plus 6 plus 2 plus 0 plus 9. Okay, 1 and 9 is 10. 10 and 6 is 16. 16 and 2 is 18. 18 and 0 is, remains 18. So when we add these up, we get 18. 1 plus 8, that equals 9. So here is our digital root, or our digit sum, for this number here. Now, something interesting to note, that let's say that I have a number here, okay, the number 3. Okay, if I add the number 9, okay, that gives me 12. Okay, when I take the digital root of that, it takes me right back to the original number. Okay, that happens whenever you add this number 9 to it. Okay, so another example of this would be, uh, let's say that we have a number uh, 42. Okay, 42. Now, we know the digit sum of 42 is going to be 6, right? We're just going to add that. 4 plus 2, that gives us 6. So we know the digit sum is 6. Well, let's say we add a 9 here, 429. Okay, let's see what happens. 4 plus 2 plus 9. That's 6 plus 9. Okay, 6 and 9 equals 15. When we take the digital root, we keep going. 1 plus 5, that equals 6. See, it takes us right back to the original, the original digital root that we found. So what this means is that you can add any number of 9s that you want or any combination of the number 9. Okay, 5 and 4, that equals 9. 7 and 1 and 1, that equals 9. You could add as many 9s as you want, and when you take the digital root, it's going to take you right back to the number 6. Okay, another example of this would be, uh, you could do this with any number, any number that you want. So let's just pick a number here. How about uh, 115? 
Okay, 115, the digital root of 115, you can see that's gonna equal seven. Okay, the digital, or the digit sum, or the digital root of 115 is gonna equal seven. Okay, let's say I add up things that add up to nine. Okay, four, two, and three, that's six and three, that equals nine. So I just kind of tacked on a nine, or you can even tack on a nine in, in, in the front. Okay, so what happens? 9 plus 1 plus 1 plus 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus 3. Okay, 9 and 1 is 10. 10 and 1 is 11. 11 and 5 is 16. 16 and 4 is 20. There's 22, 25. Okay, so we get 25. When I add up all these, I get 25. Now taking the digital root, 2 plus 5. Okay, that brings me right back to the original digital root. See, it doesn't matter how many nines I add or how many things that add up to nine, okay? There's numbers here, add up to nine, okay? Tacked on a nine. Our original number, 115, our original number, okay? Adding things that add up to nine, tacking it on the number, it doesn't matter. You're going to get the same digital root or the digital sum, okay? One more example. Okay, 146, digital sum, 1 plus 4 plus 6. Okay, 1 plus 4 plus 6, that equals 11. Digital root of 11, 1 plus 1. Okay, that equals 2. So we're going to say that 2 is the digital root or the digital sum of 146. So I could add a 9 here or an 18 because 1 and 8 equals 9. Okay, and if I... If I take the digital root now of this number, the digital root will also be 2, okay? Simply because the only thing that I've done is added combinations of 9, okay? So in other words, when you're taking the digital root of something, if you find numbers that kind of add up to 9, so if I want to take the digital root or the digit sum of some number here, Okay, if I want to find the digit sum of this number, what I could do is I could simply find numbers that add up to 9 and cross them out. So 2 and 7 equal 9. Okay, 3 and, sec 3 and 6 equal 9. So I'm going to say the digital root of this number that we had. Okay, I'm going to say the digital root is 5. Okay, because we canceled out all these numbers that add up to 9. See, 7 and 2 equals 9. 3 and 6 equal 9. So if I add those up, 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus 6. Okay, 2 and 5 is 7. 7 and 7 is 14. 14 and 3 is 17. 17 and 6 equals 23. Okay, now taking the digital root of this, 2 plus 3, that also equals 5. So see, I just proved it to you here that these, these, these are the same here. And so what we could do is anytime you see this digit sum or digital root and you want to find the digit sum of some number, okay, okay, what you could do is you could start canceling things out that add up to 9. So 6 and 3 equal to 9. 5 and 4 are equal to 9. 1 and 8 equal to 9. So I'm going to say the digital root of that number that we just had okay, is going to equal 1. Because that's, that's the number that's left after we cancel out everything that adds up to 9. Now I'm going to show you the Vedic 9-point circle and kind of a little bit of a visual representation of how this works. Um, you might like this, the Vedic 9-point circle. It's really cool. It deals with this idea of digital root and the digital sum. All right, here's our Vedic nine-point circle. You can see that it kind of has nine spokes, okay? So if I start off writing the numbers here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, I just kind of write these numbers in. There's nine spokes, okay? This is the spoke for the number one. This is for number two, number three, number four. Okay, if I keep going around in a circle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I keep going, okay, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, I could keep going. I could put any number, okay, any number, the largest number that you could think of is going to land somewhere on this spoke, okay? It's not going <laughs> to, well, actually, it's not going to include the number infinity, okay? But it's going to include all the numbers the closest you could get to infinity. So the largest number that you could think of is going to end up being somewhere on one of these spokes, okay? It's either going to be here or here or here or here or here, etc. okay? This is the idea of digital root. Uh, so the digital root of this number 18 is 9. And so you get this digital root by doing the digit sum. Okay, like we were just doing 1 plus 8. 1 plus 8 equals 9. Okay, see over here. 1 plus 9 equals 10. 10. 1 plus 0, that brings you back to the 1. Okay, over here. 24. 2 plus 4, that takes you back to the number 6. Okay, so what I could do is if I want to kind of put a number, let's say I just want to put a large number on one of these spokes, okay, some large number that I come up with, um, it's really easy, okay, let's say I want to put a number here in the number, in the spoke here, uh, 5, okay, first I just kind of uh, put a number that adds up to 5, okay, I know 32 is going to be on this spoke, Right, because I just showed you it's the, it works off the digit sum, so three and two brings you back to five. Okay, and then you just start putting in nines or things that add up to nine, like I was just showing you. Okay, so I could say with 100% confidence that this number is going to be on this spoke, the spoke of the wheel. Okay, also like here, this number, this uh, number seven in the spoke here for on this wheel, the spoke of the wheel for the number seven. Okay, just simply put something that adds up to 7. So 3, 1, 3. Okay, I know 313 is going to be on the spoke. And then I could start putting in 9s in the front, in the back. Okay, and it works off of doing this, uh, this casting out 9s that I was just showing you. So you basically cancel out these things that add up to 9. And what you're left with here is this 313 brings you right back to this original number. Okay, if I want to put a number on the spoke here for this number 2, okay, simply I could put a 2 or I could put things that add up to 2, okay, and then just start putting in things that add up to, add up to 9. See, 2 and 7, that equals 9. 3, 5, and 1, that also equals 9. Okay, so what we're left with is... Uh, if I take the digital root of this number, it's going to bring me right back to this number 2. So this is the idea of a digital root, okay, a digital root and the digital sum. Now I'm going to show you kind of real quickly uh, maybe one or two examples of how you could use this to do your arithmetic and how to, how to use this to check for answers. All right, let's say I have a simple addition problem here. Okay, let's do, the, let's do this addition problem. 8 and 1 give us 9. Okay, 6 and 9 give us 15, write a 5, carry 1, 1, 3, and 1, that's another 5, 4 and 3 is 7. Okay, so this is the answer that I got, 7,559. Okay, let's take the digit sum of the, uh, of the, of the problem here. Okay, let's take the digit sum of, of this number and this number and then add the digit sums and see if we get the same digit sum as the answer. Okay, so once again, casting out 9s to find our digit sum. We could see that 3 and 6 add up to 9. So what we're left with here is uh, 4 plus 8. 4 plus 8 equals 12. Okay, 1 plus 2, that equals 3. So the, digit, the digital root or the digit sum of this number, okay, equals 3. Now let's find the digital sum of this number here. Okay, once again, casting out 9s, we can kind of cross out that 9. So 3, 1, and 1, that equals 5. Okay, so here is our digital root for this number here. Okay, now let's add these two digital roots together, because remember, we're doing addition here. So 3 and 5, 3 and 5, 3 plus 5, that equals 8. Okay, so the digital root of the answer here should also be an 8. 
Okay, let's see. If we cancel out these nine and cross out this nine here, we're left with a seven plus five plus five. Okay, that's 10 and seven. 10 and seven equals 17. And one plus seven equals eight. So see these two, these two digit sums check out. Okay, this is how you could use digit sums and digital roots to check for your answers. Okay, one more example of uh, how to use this. And uh, that would that'd be about it for the video. So here, one more example here. Let's just take a number here. Uh, 38 times 12. Okay, using our vertically and crosswise from one of my earlier videos. 8 times 2. 8 times 2 give us 16. Okay, and then 3 times 2 plus 8 times 1, so 6 plus 8 give us 14. Okay, and then 3 times 1 give us 3. Okay, doing our carries, we get 456. 456 for our answer. Okay, now let's see. Let's use this digit sum check. Okay, 3 plus 8. Let's find the digital root. 3 plus 8. Okay, 3 plus 8 give us 11. Okay, the digit sum of 11, 1 plus 1, okay, that equals 2. So our digit sum for the number 38 is going to be 2. Okay, the digit sum for 12, that's easy. 1 and 2, that give us 3. Okay, so now remember we're doing multiplication here. So let's multiply these two digit sums together. 2 times 3, that give us 6. So now the digit sum of the answer should also be 6. And we can see that's true because if we cancel out a 9, we're left with a 6 here. So we're going to go ahead and say that confident, I'm pretty confident here that the answer 456 is correct. Okay, this is the idea of digit sum, digital root, digit sum check. All right, just want to quickly say thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and simply subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.